Live on KPRC-TV and the KPRC2 Plus live stream. The news starts now. Right now, 10 competing claims about this viral video. Y'all gonna let a man hit me in my face. As the woman's seen and it cancels her plan to turn herself in for theft charges. Only on two, the man accused of the violence reaches out to KPRC2 and shares his story in the aftermath of that night. What has it been like for you having to stay silent? It's the hardest thing to do. It's to not say anything when the whole world is saying something about you. Thank you so much for joining us tonight at 10 o'clock. I'm Daniela Guzman. And I'm Keith Garvin. The woman who made those allegations is wanted by Houston police tonight because investigators say she made up the story to profit from a GoFundMe. KPRC 2's Bryce Newberry is now live at HPD headquarters tonight with the exclusive interview. Bryce. Keith and Daniela, Rhoda Osmond, who's known virally as Brick Lady, was expected to surrender here at Houston Police Headquarters this afternoon. That did not happen. But tonight, the man who she accused of throwing that brick at her head when she says she wouldn't give him her phone number is telling only KPRC2 what he says happened that night. Yo, this man just hit me in my face with a brick and all these black men just watch. This video has been seen millions of times. The man accused of the viral brick throw reached out to me for his first interview. This was a well thought of plan, a diabolical plan. Olin Douglas is a father, son and small business owner. But in September, allegations made by 33 year old Rhoda Osman nearly put it all at risk. It caused people who I thought really knew me to kind of betray me. Douglas says he met her at a club near the Galleria as she wore a mask that only revealed her eyes. He invited her to an after party. It's as if she was trying to get in some type of conflict. But says she was aggressive and very intoxicated. They ended up in a car with friends. She physically didn't start touching me until I asked her to leave. So you got to get out outside the car. Houston police say surveillance video then showed Osman slapping him in the face before he hit her back with what appears to be a plastic water bottle in hand. You should never hit a woman in general, but I didn't want to hit her. Actually, it was like she hit me and I just reacted. According to court documents, the footage didn't match what Osman told police that a male Uber driver threw a brick at her and tried to kidnap her, that she did her own investigation and was told that Douglas was the one who assaulted her. She's now charged with theft because prosecutors say she made it up and tried to profit from this GoFundMe that raised more than forty two thousand dollars. It's been a divide between, you know, black men, black women, and, and it's been it's, 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 it's really evil what she did. If police didn't have this surveillance video, this evidence that basically clears you, what kind of situation do you think you would be in? I would be that guy that hit a girl with a brick. I'm black. I'm surprised I didn't get arrested in 30 seconds from this going out. Douglas says he's received death threats from complete strangers. She's just manipulating people using their pain and that is should be the true crime here. He hopes people online will be more conscious. The internet is the internet. It's not real life all the time. And I spoke with Houston police this evening. They tell me that the major offenders division investigated this alleged assault, but the evidence in the case led them to this theft charge against Osmond. Tonight, she does remain wanted, but in an Instagram comment from her page, she said that she's been harmed and abused and looks forward to her day in court. We're live downtown. I'm Bryce Newberry, KPRC 2 News. Bryce, thank you.